most people can't handle information. <laughs> I mean by that? Well, lots of times we're given data, you know, we're, we're told things by television, by <clears throat> news services, by things we see, things we hear, by radio, by our local commentary, by the internet, by any number of valid sources sometimes, and sometimes invalid, that we don't know how to process it. So, a lot of times people don't realize they're being influenced or they're being directed towards a reaction as opposed to an action. So the information sometimes influences the way we look at the world. Like, people tend to take sometimes things they've been wanting to hear anyways and go, oh yeah, I, I agree with that. Oh yeah, that's good. And sometimes don't take the time to prove if that's real or not. Like, things I agree with doesn't mean that I agree with the fact that it's being said. Because I've looked at some of the stories and some of the news services that I've seen, and I've had to say, though I agree with it, unfortunately, it's just not true, you know? And I've had to not use it or believe in it because it was just a false story. Or that it's been spun into a certain way of something I agree with, but I don't agree with the way they did it, so I can't participate in it, because Jesus wants us to put on the belt of truth, and when we talk about that, when we talk about the armor of God, isn't just the truth of scripture, it means be truthful, you know, be, be real, be honest, because it'll hold your pants up when suddenly you discover the facts caused you to be caught with your pants down, because that's what happens with facts is that when God comes into a situation, you're either going to show your nakedness to the truth, or you're going to show that you're clothed in lies and deception. So the belt we put on is truth to hold up, literally, what we're wearing, which should be the garment of praise, that God should be able to glorify the position we've taken and the stand that we are, because we have the truth about us. It's holding us up. It holds, literally, our clothes on us. And that, in and of itself, should be a reason. But a lot of times people still like to believe in what they want to believe as opposed to put on the belt of truth. So sometimes recognize that, you know, what you're seeing and what you're hearing may not necessarily be true. And that the only way to know truth is to go to the source of it, which is Jesus. Have him direct you to his choices for you today, because we're not all going to agree on everything. But he is going to know what's best for you and show you that which is good for you today. Like in a devotional. In God Calling, accept trials. Trials and troubles may seem to overwhelm you. They cannot do more than work my will. That will, you have said, is your will. Do you not see that you cannot be destroyed? From now, a new life is opening out before you. Yours is to enter into the kingdom I have prepared for you. The sunlight of my presence is your path. Trust and go forward unafraid. My grace is sufficient for all your needs. We aren't in grace, belligerent of grace, to just go out and you know, get in everyone's face about what we believe in, but rather, by the grace that we have received, we need to share that grace to others and be aware to allow them to have and experience the same grace that God wants to share with them personally, that we've experienced personally from Him. Because everyone can be wrong in order to gradually learn to be right. And God sometimes allows that to happen so that it humbles us sometimes, sometimes it teaches us, sometimes it instructs us, sometimes it's just to keep us in the place of grace so we know in us there's no good thing but that we can trust Him for everything we do need. So try to stay in a place of grace, to give grace to others as well as to receive it from others so that way when it comes time that God needs to pour grace upon you, He finds a willing recipient because then He can splash it out to others likewise.